But man, this is our stopping grounds here at Holton Wise. Uh, this is like kind of like the, uh, oh, I don't know, like the epicenter of uh, our portfolio, right? The old Brooklyn neighborhood is, is really where we got started uh, with our investing. I actually used to live in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. The house is all torn up, so bank lenders are not going to work, right? So if you want to buy it sight unseen, send the email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your proof of funds and how much you want to offer. If you're a local cat and instead of doing it that way, you want to get in there, you want to tour it, you want to see exactly how much this renovation is going to cost you personally, that's not a problem. I want you to send your proof of funds to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. 500 bucks. I won't fix that for money. <laughs> for money. Yeah, that's what I said. Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch tv giving it to you straight got a rehab project for y'all right check this one out 2911 roanoke cleveland ohio 44109 this is the old brooklyn neighborhood man this is our stopping grounds here at holton wise uh this is like kind of like the uh Oh, I don't know, like the epicenter of uh, our portfolio, right? The old Brooklyn neighborhood is, is really where we got started uh, with our investing. I actually used to live in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. I grew up in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. Not a lot of people know that. I grew up on uh, Bucyrus Avenue, okay, which is very close uh, to where this particular property is, okay, right in the same little old Brooklyn neighborhood. And Holton Wise, when we started investing, because I was familiar with that neighborhood, uh, this is where we started buying up a lot of properties, right? So I would say we probably have the biggest concentration of rental properties, like, uh, you know, on a per capita or per, like, street basis uh, in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. I mean, now we've obviously expanded to, you know, all throughout Cleveland. We're in Akron. We're in Canton. We're in Toledo. We're in Sandusky. I mean, we're all over Ohio, down in Columbus. Uh, we're even getting our toes in the water over in Cincy and Dayton. But old Brooklyn on the west side of Cleveland, Ohio, y'all, right here, right up in this area, Roanoke, uh, this is where it all started. And I, I believe I've owned probably, I don't know, maybe five or six houses on this actual street, right? And what we have for you guys uh, is this reno project, right? It's priced at seventy nine nine. And as you can see from the footage, uh, it is like totally gutted out, like half gutted out, right? It's actually kind of a goofy scenario. It's a little different. It's a little uh, not run of the mill. Half the house is gutted out. Like the kitchen is like half torn out. Uh, the main bathroom is, you know, there's not even a toilet in there at the moment. But one of the bedrooms, uh, one of the owners is currently living there and she's got access to... Uh, just the kitchen. So she's kind of like living in a construction zone. And uh, she has another home, I guess. She has like another place to live. But uh, more or less, uh, she's planning on just like staying here uh, till the end of the sale, right? So she will move out as soon as the new buyer buys it. But she wants to uh, just continue staying here. I think she's worried about people breaking in or possibly squatters. And uh, that is a reasonable thing to be a little nervous about, right? You don't want to have break-ins. And, you know, if you're on the west side of Cleveland, you're in like a C-grade neighborhood like this, that is a, a very big possibility, right? Although with this particular house, I wouldn't be too, too worried because there's really not much to steal. But uh, they do have some mechanicals down in the basement. Probably don't want their plumbing stolen, things of that nature, right? So she's kind of going to be staying there, uh, keeping a, like a watch on things till we expedite the sale for her and get her a new buyer right so uh with that said it's gonna come to you guys as a vacant rental project uh by the time you get it all put back together you're probably gonna need to spend maybe 30 uh 40 000, probably 40 000 would be about the height of what you could spend and that'd be if you're outsourcing it uh to a full-fledged contracting company if you can get in there and do the renovations yourself you could absolutely save a ton of money so i think this project would be really good uh for local folks who have their own construction crews right like you get a lot of the contractors out there that you know you're going out and you're selling jobs for your crew uh, to various customers, uh, but you, you know, contracting work kind of ebbs and flows, right? And you know, if you have a whole bunch of work and then you have like a little low spot, 
you can't lay off your guys because you know you're going to be getting another high spot coming in, right? So these types of jobs are perfect for crews like that uh, because they keep your crew working in between your customer paid jobs. Because if you're out there, I don't know if anybody else who's watching this show right now has ever ran a crew or been a general contractor, but uh, when, when you're ebbing and flowing as far as jobs go, if you lay off your team uh, during a downtime, when you're jammed up with work again in four or five months, they're gone. You ain't getting them back, right? So it's very important for guys that run crews to keep their team working 40 hours a week, right? So if you're only paying your own team, you can definitely get that renovation done for a lot less than 40 k Or if you're a house hacker, this would be another good thing for you, right? Uh, at the end of the day, maybe you get in there, do a house hack, fix it up yourself, live there for a year. Then when you move out, you're renting this bad boy for 1100 bucks a month, right? There is a lot uh, of money to be made with a property like this. It's obviously much better uh, to do a deal like that uh, than it would be if you're going to be paying somebody else's rent, right? House hacking is how I got started. I did my first deal. It was an $85,500 house. I did that back in like 08, 09, okay? And it turned out pretty good for me because I'm sitting here, standing here, talking to you guys, uh, having done over $200 million worth of business in Ohio, right? So... If this deal is interesting to you, if this is something you guys would be interested in and you want to tour the property, that's totally cool. We're only going to be accepting cash offers, right? Uh, so if you just want to make an offer site unseen, we could go that route. Uh, you send your offer to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Uh, just include your proof of funds because we can't do financed offers here. The house is all torn up, so bank lenders are not going to work, right? So if you want to buy it sight unseen, send the email to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Include your proof of funds and how much you want to offer. If you're a local cat and instead of doing it that way, you want to get in there, you want to tour it, you want to see exactly how much this renovation is going to cost you personally, that's not a problem. I want you to send your proof of funds to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com, and let me know you want to get in there for a tour. And we will set you up on a tour uh, probably, you know, within a day or two, right? The owner is still living there, so we will hook you and the owner up, and you guys could schedule a time that is going to work for you, and then you could put together your exact scope of work, and then go ahead and just shoot that offer to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Again, folks, as is cash offers only on this one, though, right? We're not going to be doing any financing contingencies because I don't think your loan's going through, things like that. I mean, I suppose if you want to do a financing contingency, I guess you can, but you're going to need to put up non-refundable earnings earnest money because I don't believe you're actually going to be able to close that loan. But if you really are confident your lender is going to come through for you and you're willing uh, you know, to risk some money there, uh, put up that money because you're that confident, I guess we could probably work that out. But otherwise, we're really just looking for cash offers. Send everything to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. And then there's that other room that's across the hall, right? Yeah, the one that's being walled off. Yeah, dude, this could potentially be a a three one and a one one, <clears throat> or yeah, a two I mean, one. Yeah, that's true. Bathroom on each floor, you definitely could convert to a duplex. Yeah, it might even be zoned for a duplex. I'd look on the county auditor site. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's two doors, and one of them leads right to the up, upper staircase. Oh God! I'm trying to show the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Probably yeah. easier from that side, though. I mean. It won't be the light in here sucks. Well, it's just so bright. Natural light. Hole in the ceiling, no wall. There's your poop. <coughs> you got a crack stack. Don't use the upstairs bathtub. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to avoid that. And the basement should be right through that kitchen. Yep. I want to get the kitchen oh, from what? Crack fucking shit that I need. I'll just do that. Crack the whole way up. I'll fix that bitch for you for 500 bucks. It I won't fix that for money. <laughs> for money. This does have a ton of potential. Yeah, it's a nice little kitchen, too. Original built ins are still here. That's mm -hmm. cool. Side door. Yep. Lord, watch your head. Cheers. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, dude, this is definitely a duplex. It's got up and down breakers. Yeah. Bro, this is a gold mine. You have to split the washer and dryer hookups though, unless you want to put coin operated. This is a newer, new yeah, boiler. boiler. Look, that motor's new. Bring your checkbooks, boys. That's a good one. Water heater's 10 years old, but it looks fine. It's definitely seen worse. Yeah, it's not leaking, all of the... We just need the new pressure release valve. Oh, I scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I saw this wire hanging, I thought it was part of the old the box. box. The old knob tube, and I was like, oh, dude, we're dead. <laughs> Get a stick, Matt's dead. <laughs> Test that shit with the back of your hand. <laughs> Can't grab a hold of it with the back That's of your hand. That's exactly right. Well, then in chemistry class. Alright, and then I just want to see whatever the hell this yeah, is. Yeah, I'm just scan the back just to show the condition and all that. Well, there is where your stack ends. Eh, the floor ports don't look so great. Or the floor joists. Other than that. Couple hundred dollars in PVC, good handyman. Shoot. Shoot. And that's it. Easy enough. That's what she called for. Another one of the books. There's only one washer dryer. Okay. Well, there's only one main. Yeah. Or there's only. You have to split them if you wanted to convert. And you need to get a new gas. Looks like electrical probably should be up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it has a box, so it's at least like 70s. Yeah, it's not all just fuses and shit. Yeah. I'll let you go out. Stop. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.